The California Constitution has been used and abused by special interests uh, in its uh, history. It's been amended way too many times, 521 times by, uh, by most estimates, and it's different than the federal constitution. You know, the federal constitution contains principles like free speech and freedom of the press and freedom of religion and the right to bear arms. The California Constitution specifies things like what kind of trammel net you can use when you're rock fishing. Uh, it's too big, it's too unwieldy, and it does not serve us or our constituents well. Uh, this measure would, simply put, make it harder to put junk in the Constitution while preserving the ability to take the junk out. It just requires that uh, new constitutional amendments, so things that add to the Constitution, if they're new, would have to pass with 55% of the vote. Now, why 55? Well, we modeled it backwards, and we thought, you know, the things that are truly popular in this state, things like Prop 13, Prop 13 passed with 65, almost 66% of the vote. Uh, other things that the state can agree on, urban and rural, uh, rich and poor, Democrat and Republican, those should be in the Constitution. Those should be a statement of our values that everybody in the state can agree on. Things like free speech, freedom of religion. Uh, so it, it makes sense to make the threshold higher to amend the California Constitution. Uh, I would submit that uh, one of the reasons why it's our founding fathers made it so hard to amend the federal Constitution is because they realized that to put stuff in a foundational document which guides and controls everything in the land, you have to get consensus. You have to get principles that everyone can agree on. And so th it's with those intentions that we bring this forward, and I respectfully ask for your eye vote.